Hello, and welcome to an OraCloud Plus Training as a Service video snippet. Learn to use and configure Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications in minutes, not hours. Hello, and welcome to a quick tutorial explaining how to link an agreement to a master contract, right? So typically we're very familiar with linking agreements to line level or contract lines for purchase contracts but not so often in pre-purchase or what we'll call master contracts. So let's quickly take a look at what we're talking about in terms of a master contract. We also did one of these on linking a purchase order to a master contract, so this video is somewhat similar. So you can see here I'm in the demo environments, logged in as Calvin Roth, looking at the procurement offering. But prior to going there, I wanna swap over to the contract management offering or enterprise contracts. You can see we've got two different apps or functional work areas, setting up terms, setting up the contracts. I'll choose that contracts setup. Then what I wanna do is just go show you the contract, the master contract that I'm gonna to wanna to link. And so what I can do when I wanna find these contracts is I can put in my supplier and then I can also put in uh, if I know, let's say the beginning of the text or the number, and I think this one is US one something. Right. And let's see if that will bring in, usually it puts in my, my, my name. Oh, it doesn't put in my name because it's not a, a prompt box there. Okay. So this is the actual contract that I want to link. It is active. It's a buy no lines. And so I want to go ahead and create an agreement. And then I want to link the agreement to this master contract. So just a little bit different. You have a lot of flexibility in Fusion, or in particular around complex service purchases. All right, so knowing that I want to use US1 space MC space Lee, now I'll go back over to procurement and we want to create a purchase agreement. So I will, within the apps or functional work areas of procurement cloud, I'll select purchase agreements, functional work area. It takes me to the functional work area homepage I'm going to open up my task panel and from here I'm going to create an agreement and I want to put in Lee supplies again. I'm going to click create. This takes me to a blank agreement. Now, whether you're doing it online, whether you got this agreement from inside of a fulfillment action within a contract line, however you get to this agreement, probably in purchasing documents, supply, um, sourcing, you, you just have the beginning of, a, of an agreement and it hasn't been saved. And so much like what we saw on the purchase order, you have a master contract field. And so this is really straightforward. It's not too sophisticated. What it does is it threads you by supplier and it wants an, a class of contract that's an agreement. And then you should be able to find the contract that you're looking for, which we can find here then just selecting that contract tags this agreement. It came out in 20B, was very inflexible. Once you saved it, you couldn't go back and edit it or touch it. They've since relaxed a little bit of that, but it's not, um, you obviously want to attach the master contract before you start to create POs, right? And you want that flow down, especially from a reporting standpoint. So. Lastly, let's talk just a minute about reporting. I'm going to cancel this, not going to finish it. But what's important to understand is that you don't have any of the contract reporting like you do in terms of a purchase contract. So read a class of an enterprise contract, and that's the contract you create for a given instance of a purchase SOW, whatever you want to call it, services or goods. Right. And so now I can do a search for all Calvin's agreements. Um, and I think if I scroll down, I might see some here or I could have simply, here we go. So now I have some agreements. And so if you want reporting, it is not the most sophisticated manner, but obviously you can uh, go back into your search. You can ask for this to be an advanced search, add the master contract field which will appeal here. And then you can start to do, let's say supplier equals Lee supplies. Um, this is what I was looking for earlier when it has this prompt, it auto fills. And then I may say one of this, I want ones that start with US one, right? 
And so if I search now, I should just get, I think two or so that are agreements tagged to that master contract ID. There we go, all three of them. So this is just another way. It's kind of a cheaper way to report. If you had a lot of these, obviously you can push this out to Excel or export if you want as well. Okay, so reeling it all back in, this is a different way that you can attach agreements now to a master contract. And obviously those agreements are talk, uh, attached to POs. Um, shows you a little bit about which contracts. We took a look at one of those. These are all in the demo environment, so you can take a look at these transactions. Um, but we then attached the master contract to the agreement, and then we talked a little bit about how to mock up some reporting if we wanted to know, well, which agreements slash orders are linked to which master contracts. So that's it for this presentation. Thank you very much for watching.